Dr. Theodore Morell observed Hitler's deterioration from close up and described it in his journals. 6th of July, 1943. The Fuhrer didn't sleep last night because of his anxieties. Yesterday morning was the start of our major counterattack on the Eastern Front. 18th July, Fuhrer asked to see me. He's been gripped by a vicious stomach pain since 3 a.m. He hasn't slept at all. Desperate, Morell decided on a dramatic shift in Hitler's treatment. More and harder drugs. This began with a powerful painkiller for his stomach cramps, Eucadol. It was morphine-based, just like heroin. Hitler used it 24 times. This was only one of at least 16 different drugs that Morell used to prop up the ailing Hitler in 1943. I think my first reaction was shock that one person could be on so much medication. One of the strangest drugs that Morell injected into Hitler was an extract of bull semen. It was supposed to be a testosterone boost and was often given when Hitler was with Eva Braun at the Berghof. What also struck me about it, looking at some of the things, is some of them are so weird. If people just gave them to you today, you wouldn't dream of taking them. As with much of the Nazis' worldview, their attitude to drugs made little sense. The dream of a racially pure Germany was supported by a cult of physical fitness. But it was also a nation dabbling in drugs, in particular, crystal meth. In the early part of the war, German forces had been pepped up before battle with an early form of crystal meth called pervitin. Millions of factory workers and housewives used this drug to get them through the hardship of wartime Germany. And in the summer of 1943, when a fatigued Fuhrer had a vital meeting with Mussolini, Morell is thought to have given pervitin to Hitler. Likely high on crystal meth, Hitler ranted nonstop at Mussolini for two hours. 